covered our traditional IT deployment models in the last module. In this module, we'll start taking a look at cloud and we're going to define what cloud computing is. Now, if you ask the average man on the street to define cloud computing, they'll probably tell you that it means where IT services are located in the cloud, meaning out there somewhere, not on premises. But our Como facilities are off premises and they're not cloud. And private cloud deployments that we'll talk about later are often on premises. So we can't describe cloud computing by saying that it's where the IT services are located out in the cloud or off premises. That's not a correct definition. So, okay, what is the correct definition then? Well, thankfully, there is actually a nailed down de facto definition of what cloud computing is, and it comes from the NIST. So let's have a look at that PDF now. So this is it. It's the NIST definition of cloud computing and NIST stands for the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is based in the US. It's only seven pages long. Actually, the first five pages is basically a preamble. So to get to the definition, I can go straight to page six. And here is the NIST definition of cloud computing. So cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. For example, networks, servers, storage, applications, and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. This cloud model is composed of five essential characteristics, three service models, and four deployment models. Okay, so I said that there was a de facto definition. I didn't say that it was a very short and concise definition. So that's quite a mouthful. But actually, when we take this document as a whole, let me scroll down and you'll see that there's essential characteristics and service models and deployment models. Because the problem is that cloud computing, it can't really be defined in just one sentence. But when you take all of these things as a whole, it actually does a really good job of defining it, this document, and it makes it very clear what cloud computing is. So bear with me, I'll go through each of those three sections, essential characteristics, service models, and deployment models. I'll do that in the lessons coming up, and I promise by the time that we're done with that, you're going to have a full understanding of cloud. You're going to understand exactly what it means.